hey there we are good to see you all and uh, welcome to the session so it is it's not world book day right now but it will be soon <laughs> and lots of you will be here because you're going to be teaching other people how to get you know get to grips with things like adobe express in time for world book day on 2nd of march so uh, a few things for today let me cast my other screen let me present share screen let's do the entire screen there we go select it share it get onto the right page right okay what are we going to do today well if it's the first time you've joined us you're in for an absolute treat we're going to be doing well we're going to be doing two challenges but we may well do a third you can kind of mute me and shut me up if on the third if you like do you know what i've had too much that's absolutely fine but um we're going to be going for three challenges now if you want to get this page i have sent it out to all the teachers who signed up for today so you can pester your teacher for this link uh, but there is a short link for it not everyone can always access short links but most people can uh but it's there bit.ly forward slash express w b d w b d okay that's world book day of course world book day is today so what kind of things are we going to be doing well our first challenge is making a book cover very easy to make a book cover i absolutely promise you it is super easy to make a book cover so that's the first thing um, and then we're going to be putting together a video book review now you'll see these all over youtube instagram TikTok, all that kind of stuff so we're going to be working out how to do one which is short sharp punchy gets the reader's attention or the viewer's attention even and then if you've still got some energy left you can mute me if you want but we will put those things together into kind of like a world book day digital portfolio okay so let's go back up to the top we are going to i am going to have a sidekick this week i hope um she's just going through some technical issues but she'll be here soon that'll be Gronya. um now if you're using an ipad something like that well you can access this page or this page or this page or this page even that's the one there's the camera which camera am i using i've got two cameras today got all sorts going on um if you want to access this page and you know you're using things something like an ipad well you can just grab your ipad and use the camera and then use the camera to scan that qr code there and then it'll take you right through to this page or you can use that short link it is going across on the bottom of your screens as well it's going across on the bottom of your screens so hopefully lots of you are in there and you know what you're doing and you're ready to rock and roll okay so um what else have we got to say we've got to say before we get on with this first challenge which is the uh, book cover one what else have we got to say i've got a couple of notes here you see i do prepare for these things massive post-it notes going on everywhere right so um you should be logged into express and you should follow along now that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll keep up step by step with everything that's going on okay doesn't necessarily mean that and that's okay you don't have to follow along step by step if i'm getting slightly ahead you just chill take your time do what you need to do because you can always pause me and then your teacher can unpause me whenever he or she thinks that it's a good time to go again that's absolutely fine uh, but also i will demo things and then give you time in order to complete your own work and during that time when you're doing your own, I will also be showing little tips on the screen. You know, if you've got, if you're at this point and you want to do this, go here and things like that. So do try and follow along. But if you're not keeping up, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just doing it at your own pace. And that's absolutely fine. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing I really do want to say before we get going is if you do at least two of these challenges today you'll be entitled to swag swag that's like free gifts we're going to give you free gifts um and your teacher will be sent out a link uh that they can fill in and request swag that'll get sent to your school and that'll be as long as you complete two out of three challenges okay two out of three challenges now the kicker is if you do you not only do two out of three challenges, but you also 
teach those challenges to some other class because some of you might be digital leaders some of you might be whole classes i don't know but those who are digital leaders if you then go and teach them teach your skills to other people in another class you get vip swag vip swag very important person swag that's what that's all about so there you go um that's how you're going to get your hands on some swag if you do two out of three you'll get some swag if you do two out of three and you also go on and teach other people in other classes you'll get vip swag right enough of that nonsense let's start cracking on okay uh now uh if uh in order to create our a book cover um you're going to be in your dashboard here if you're using an ipad uh you're going to be using the adobe express app the adobe express app okay hopefully we will have Gronya coming on here from the nerve center in order to demonstrate um you know things on the ipad because they're slightly different they're not really that much different but they are slightly different um but if you are using that here she is right on time uh, you okay yes yes uh just had a restart you know the old <laughs> Just restart. How, how stressed are you? Are you this stressed, or are you are you obviously <laughs> stressed? Well, because it's World Book Day, I did remember to put on my Where's Wally top. So <laughs> I remember. There you that. go. That'll bring the stress levels down. Good for you. Well done. <laughs> oh, and um, and how are you getting on with uh, sharing things like your iPad and stuff like that? Yes. So let me see. Where are we? Grania is a superstar. I knew she'd get it worked out. I mean, I wasn't sure, but I knew she was. <laughs> well, I should have, you know, phoned every IT department in the country that says, you know, have you turned it on and off again? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's that's pretty much my only trick. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> me so, and you both. Uh, let me just check. I'll I'll uh, share my screen. Go on, uh, while you're doing that, tell tell everybody, you know, what you're famous for, what you're all about. Oh, famous? So oh, I'm not famous at all. Um, <laughs> but I'm from the AMA Creative Learning Center. So I may have met some of you guys that are, are out there. Um, it would be lovely to hear from you if you have. I have been in your school doing something. I think I've nearly been in most of the schools in the southern region of uh, Northern Ireland at this Wicked. stage. That's um, so we've been doing some... Uh, Adobe Express work lately out in schools doing different bits and pieces so it's yeah it's, I'm really excited now to be doing this today. That's cool and if you do have any comments for us do stick them in there because we do give people shout outs it does happen so please <laughs> tell us you know tell us where you're tuning in from tell you you know tell us if you know Gronya or if you know me or if you've done other stuff before do put comments in and also if you've got any questions you know like how did you do that you know I completely missed that can you do it again please that's absolutely fine do that too right well um, granny we're, we're about to kick off with doing our book cover okay. um i'll i'll do a couple of i'll do a few things first and then uh you know if you've got your screen share set up set up and things like that uh you can come on and show people with ipads how to kick it off as well okay. so uh you've got a couple of minutes just to get yourself sorted right okay so, so oh, by the way have you got a special book in mind for world book day me yes it's one I did when I was in primary five. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah. You're allowed to tell us or is it a secret? <laughs> no, well, I could tell you, yeah. It's George's Marvelous Medicine. Ah, oh, I love it. I oh, actually rolled doll. There you go. Yeah, I never forgot it. So, um, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Am I, am I showing my screen at the moment? No. You are actually, yeah. You're showing your, you're showing the StreamYard stuff. Yeah. But can you get your iPad up? Yes. Can you see that? Um no not yet. It's still the it's still the streamyard um streamyard screen. Let me check. Uh, maybe use the let's go to one quick You have a little play there and I'll get and I'll get everyone kicked off here. Okay. So there's two ways to get going on your there's two ways to get going on your um on your book cover. That's what we're gonna do for World Book Day. I'm going to teach you how to make a book cover and it's dead dead easy right so the first way is you can go to the top here and go to templates okay now if you go to templates there then Gronya, i think you'll get in there because you've got you've got two of yourself now i think you just need to do the um select the ipad on the new the new movie recording maybe okay. right 
Uh, if I go into the templates at the top here and just search for something like book cover, right? And we get loads of templates. Now, you can start off either way. You can start off either way here, right? So there are loads of templates here, loads of templates. If you want to start from a template, that's absolutely fine. No problem with that at all. Um, and you can also search something like novel. That's a really good one. That gets you slightly different results. And there's all sorts of things here that you could change in order to make your own book cover. Because you might be doing it on your favorite book today. That's absolutely fine. Whatever you want to do. Now, within that, if I search for Mason, right? Once you search for like book cover, for example, then search for Mason, right? And then you can click this one here, right? So this is one way of starting. This is one way of starting. And maybe Granny wants to start with that one too. That's absolutely fine. Um, now, everything you can see on the screen, you can change, okay? So you can just click in any of these and you can change them, okay? Now, what I'm also going to do is show people. Now, if you want to start with that, that's absolutely fine. Go ahead, search for book cover, then search for Mason. Start off with this. But I will also show people how to start off completely from scratch, okay? So I'm uh, – do you know what? Maybe I will – I'll come out of that and then I'll actually open another screen so you can, so we can kind of go in between the two of them. Right. So if you wanted to start from scratch, cause you're feeling like, you know, particularly special then you go to the plus here, go to crust, custom, custard or custom. I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Here we go to go down to print. And then let's say, yeah, let's say a five. I mean, a five is that the size of a, is that the size of a standard book cover? Do you think on you? yeah it is right cool there you go she knows better than me uh and then click next right and then this pops up now you can see there's a bit of a difference between what we've got here in the template which you might be using and this one here obviously it's completely blank now the first thing i want to do is if i was using the template i'd select this background cover and then i want to change it to something that is relevant to the book that i'm going to do today which is the bfg the BFG. I didn't go for George's Marvelous Medicine. I went for the BFG. Now, if I was using the template, I'd just press replace. And then I'd go and search for a new image over on the left-hand side there. Now, if you were starting from scratch, you just open up the images on the left-hand side by pressing photos. And here, I'm going to search for old man. And um, Am I going to search for beard? Yeah, why not? I'll pretend he's got a beard. Right. Now, I think uh, the BFG is a bit mad. Uh, this guy looks a bit mad as well. I love him. And then you see I've got him there. Now, there's a couple of things I can do. I can stretch that out, right? I could stretch that out until it becomes big enough and, like, covers the whole of the page. Or there's just a really good shortcut here, and I would just click Add to Background. And there he just goes straight in, okay? Uh, similarly, if you're using the template here, you would go, you know, you would replace this one. If I said old man beard, uh, now again, you just click it. And this one will go onto the background because the old, the other photo that was in there, there before, the, the kind of the building photo was in there as a background. And then you can kind of scale it up. See this little thing here? You can scale it up and put in whatever you want, okay? Now that's, uh, that's how I'm getting started. Um, Gron, you think you're ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me share the screen. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, no, not yet. You're still going to be able to share it somehow. So let's see if I go to my screen. Is that coming up? Uh, it's just coming up with um, you, like, as an avatar twice. Okay. It's not, you, are you doing the new movie? Have you selected on the, on the recording button? Have mm -hmm. you selected... Um, iPad is your output. How? Um, and then can you go to um, then can you go to Streamyard and press present? Yeah, I don't know why. And it's picking iPad. It's picking iPad. Do you know what? I think probably I might need to start it again. Okay, that's fine. You kick yourself out and then um, and then come back in when you're ready. That's cool. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, we've got our image in the background here. If you're using an iPad, for example, then you would go to um, start a new graphic by pressing the plus at the bottom. Then you can start with solid color. 
just give yourself a white background, dead easy. And then when you've done that, when it comes to click the size, the size will be after that, you choose A5, okay? Once you're in there, open up your photos, or if you're starting from a template, find that Mason template and go from there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still do mine from this kind of uh, blank background here. Now I'm gonna scale mine right up, I think. Uh, try and make him sort of, I go sort of halfway, so you just got one eye, quite like that. I think that works quite well. Now, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna put in some text, right? So you could use any of these kind of templates down the left-hand side here, that's absolutely fine. Okay, but I'm gonna add my text. I actually think, I think I prefer it this way. I think so. And I'm just gonna write the BFG, right? Now, at the moment, that's not particularly interesting, is it? There's nothing interesting about that whatsoever, but if I start scaling it up, it starts to look quite good. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it's in the center. You can see that little dotted line, which is kind of going down the center of the page there. That's telling me it's completely aligned. Now, in terms of the color, uh, I mean, I actually really like this red color that they've used in here. I think it's really good. And the, and the, the font they use is this Chuck regular. And you can also, you know, you can use little codes for the colors as well, which is quite cool. So if I if I borrowed that little color code, I could just paste it in there and it gives me this kind of really nice red. I might make it a bit darker so it's kind of better to read, I think. And you can do that just by moving around the circle. <coughs> you can also uh, go and select whatever font you want. Now, if I put that one in, I like it. Not not least because I saw it on the other templates, I thought it was cool. But uh, you can also go into your font recommendations. You can see them down on the right here. You go to explore more. And then you can choose any of these whatsoever. It will change them up and you can just look at them uh, as they're as they're you know being shown in the window. Now I don't I'm not really sure that any of them are any better than the one that we chose before that one's quite nice actually yeah that one's quite nice maybe should i go for that one do you know what i still don't think it's better than the one from before so i'll go to chuck again chuck regular nice okay now um what else am I, what else do you need to put on a book cover well clearly you need to put on uh the name of the author okay granny is back we're gonna put on the name of the author next Okay, so let's put our text in here, add some text in here. And obviously it's rolled dull. There you go. Here's a pop question for you, Gronya. Mm -hmm. What country was Roald Dahl born in? Or where's he from? Was he originally Norwegian? No. Or is his parents Norwegian? No. Uh, I'm not sure if his parents were. But <laughs> it's a little known fact that he's actually Welsh. Yeah, I was I was gonna say Wales was my next one, but yeah. it's some sort of no no connection to Norway, no. Uh I don't know. Maybe Rold is quite um may, mm. is that kind of a Norwegian -y name? I don't really know. I think and the other reason I'm thinking this as well is because in the witches, the little boy's grandmother, I think, might be from Norway or ah, something. Right, maybe he did have. Yeah, that's really that's a that's a really insightful one. Maybe that's true. Because it's yeah. quite an unusual name, isn't it, Rold? Yeah, yeah. Right, so I've put, I've put the um, I've put the author's name in there. Now you can just play around with the size of it. And actually, the um, in terms of what I've gone for for the font, I've gone for this cheap pine sands, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and that's the one that's in there. You see, and uh, and then also I'm just going to duplicate that because if I put that now in the middle, there it is. Now you can put something like the wonderful tale of i might i might make that slightly smaller to be fair oh it's done all sorts of crazy stuff there uh there we go put that in the middle maybe that's too small there we go that's a bit better right the wonderful tale of the bfg by roald dahl okay when you want to have a go at sharing let's hope this is going to work for us um, so I'm going to go to window. Mm, unlock this by selecting the lock bottom corner. So it's 
it's asking for permissions again. Let me see. Okay, while, while Gwen is having a go at that, this photo in the background here of this crazy man with the beard, which I really like, um, is making the text slightly unreadable. Okay, so uh, what I think I'm going to do with that is just go to filters. Now, you can play around with all sorts of stuff here. Uh, multiply is quite a good one. The darker one is quite a good one. Just takes the edge off the photo ever so slightly, which means that you can play around with what that, how sort of, how much that clashes with the text on the top. And actually, another way of doing it is go down to enhancements, and you can, you know, bring things like the contrast up or down. So you can have a play with it, all of that. And actually, if I just bring the brightness down ever so slightly, for me, that text is much more readable. So I like that. I'm going to keep it like that. Um, right. How are you getting on, Gronya? Okay, I think I have it now. Game cool. of words, but let's let's go. Go on then. <laughs> uh, let's go to quick time. Okay, so if you are working with yours, you'll be on this kind of place here where you've got your text and you've changed it. And you've changed your title. You've changed the author's name. And then we're going to be working on this kind of system here. Boom. Grant has done it. I'm here. Check you out. Good stuff. <laughs> Would you like to show people how they can start from maybe using a template, for example, in using an iPad? Yes. So I'm in Adobe Express and along the top, I'm going to have a look at book covers here. So I've just tapped on book covers. Um, but I'm going to go down. Um, if I go home again. And if you scroll down, you can see all the templates that for all the different types of things you might make with Adobe Express. But I'm going to go down and have a look. Here's book covers here. And I'm going to view all. So oh, the one I chose um, was a nice wee one down here. Because I kind of like the background on it. It looked like some gunky kind of medicine that George might have <laughs> made. So, oh, nice, yeah. um, so I'm going to remix this template. Uh, cool. So just doing exactly um, what Dom did. I'm going to go in and kind of rearrange the things so I can make it look uh, like a cover that I'm going to choose for George's Marvelous Medicine. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is change the, the title. Or this one's called a massive tomato. So I'm going to put in my title. And when you tap on that, you'll notice um, all the things you can edit come up down at the bottom. Okay, so we want to edit the text first of all. So I always like to put in the title and then play around with size and stuff so you can kind of yeah. see see what you're doing because sometimes you're not sure how long. Um, exactly. Now, if you, are using, um, if you are using like a Chromebook or a laptop or something like that, use this time now to crack on with your design. And if you get, if you know, have a look at what Gronje is doing. And if you see any tips that like, oh, I didn't realize you could do that. Find how to do it on yours and have a go. And people who are obviously iPads, this is where you need to be. Mm -hmm. So what you'll notice that it has a little background on it. Um, so if you go into effects, you can see we have a shape on the background there and you can actually edit that shape. Um, so if you want to choose something slightly different, you can do that. Also, if you make it a little bit smaller if we go in and just make it slightly smaller i can actually see that shape a little bit better yeah. um you might have noticed it had like little edges to it mm -hmm. um so again it's also by roald dahl so i'm going to change this text as well and yeah so roald it always wants to change it to ronald <laughs> <laughs> you think that no by now there's roles yeah. <laughs> okay and again i can make that a little bit bigger and you can ch also change the fonts here as well so if i tap on george's marvelous medicine you can see all your options for changing text are along the top there so the next one over is font and yeah i might want to choose something that might stand out a little bit more and it's nice you can just tap on them and see. And it's because I have already got the, the full title and I can make sure that it fits and things like that. Okay. That's quite a good one. Yeah. It stands out a bit better, doesn't it? Mm. So I can change the bottom one as well to that. And if I want to change the color, just tap on color. 
tap on the little box and then I can choose. So it gives you suggested ones, basic ones, and then you've got every color under the sun. The suggested <laughs> ones are nice because it kind of keeps you within the colors. Yeah, they are good, aren't they? You know, so it keeps your design looking sort of together, if you like. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I'll go white and see how that looks. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's moved. Yeah, it might just very nice. Yeah. So what I want to do next is to change some of the images that I have here. So each of these little icons or drawings or designs are all individual things. So what I can do is um, change them around. So in this one here, if I want to edit it. I can just go to delete. All yeah. right. Because what I'm looking for is a little boy. So I'm going to go to add. And again, just like on the um, web version, you have all your options of kind of different images or items or elements that you can add. So I'm going to go to photos <coughs> and do a search. OK, so let's go to Adobe Stock Photos. And if I just type in, boy, I find a really good one the other day. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 can, it can take a scroll, can it? Yeah, because, you know, George, to me, is someone that's quite mischievous. Um, mm. I mean, who would ever come up with the idea of creating their own medicine to give to their grandma? So I like something <laughs> like this. <laughs> so when you tap on it, it'll it'll just tick it, but it won't actually add it to your document and hit, until you hit add, okay? Now it's asking you, do you want to pin it to the background like um, Dom, you had did with, done with the old man? Maybe but I actually yeah. moved this freely around, so I'm going to choose move freely. Okay, so that I can kind of place them where I want. Now, I don't want that orange square around them. I want to kind of just have a, just the boy himself. So what I can also do is remove the background. So when you've anything selected on your screen, down at the bottom, you can see sort of your the tools that you can use for it. So, and we have a very um, useful tool here, move background. So if I tap on that, it very neatly removes yeah, that very nice so i'm just going to expand them up a little bit might even rotate them just using the pinch move on the ipad so you know okay. when you put your fingers together cool. so i'm not sure that's going to be my final position for him but i'm happy enough with roughly where he is now because what you'll find i'm sure you know that do this too john when you get all your elements in there sometimes you have to adjust things and tweak yeah, things absolutely and well, let's see what you can let's see what you cook up in the background and i'll just i'll crack on a bit with mine let me grab this back okay okay so if you're using a template for example we're going to go on to this next bit here because we've got our background image in okay of our bfg here in this case we've got our text in if i go over to here and what i want to do is now if you are using the template you can just click in any of these and you can start changing them up so let me let me go and show you how to start it from scratch, okay? So if I was gonna start this from scratch, I'd go to shapes, and then over here, I'd go to sticker, or even I'd just go for circle, actually. Maybe I'll just go for circle. Uh, now you can put a basic shape in there, and it's put it in in orange. Now, uh, Gronje, what do you think? You know when you go into a bookshop, and you go in, and they have those stickers on there, and they're like two for one, or bestseller? Mm -hmm. What color would you say that they are normally? Usually something that catch your eye, like yellow. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'm going to something go for yellow because I think Granny yeah. knows what she's talking about. And uh, I'm and always looking for bargains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'd buy one if it wasn't two for one. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then, um, and then I'm just going to put that in there. That's going to be my sticker, okay? And then um, I want to put some text on. So add my text now. Uh, I'm going to change the color to white. OK, uh, there we go. And then I'm going to say uh, a really thrilling read. OK, and then I'll put my name in as if I'm some kind of book critic. Like, why not? No one's going to give me that job. So I might as well give it to myself. So uh, let me bring that text down. You see the way it resized itself? That's really handy. And then I can put that in there. You see, Waterstones came and asked me what I thought about this book. Of course they did. I can put it onto three lines just by stretching out the box. 
I'll center it there, but I'm going to put it slightly further down the bottom because I want to put another shape in. And I'm not feeling very generous today, so I'll go for four stars. I should probably spell it right as well. There we go. Four stars. Mm, yeah, I like that one in the little in a kind of circle. Now it's put it in his yellow. Well, that's no use to me. So I'm gonna go for the white one there. Bring it all the way down, and then there it is. There's my sticker. So I'm happy with that. I think that looks really nice. And then you see, Grania's already. She's already shown me up because she's such a pro. So uh, what I'm gonna do is. She's already used the back, remove background tool. I mean, I don't bring that out until about the third date. Oh, I, mean, I don't so know what's going on there, Grania. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to photos here. And I'm going to go to um, uh, Grania. Here's another pop quiz for you. What's the name of the girl in the BFG? Sophie. Is that your final answer? Yes, my final answer. And I said, well, she would be right, wouldn't she? Well done. So I'm going to put little... Actually, I found that little child is the is, is a really good one. You get loads of different options here. And I'm going to put... I'm going to find a picture for Sophie. This one will do. She looks pretty cool. Now, I'm going to put it in there. And you'll see that, you know, Grania has already shown us how to do... How to make it look really cool. Because you can have the photo in there. And then you press remove background. And then it does all sorts of things that I just don't even understand. But the thing that is important to me is that it kicks out this amazing image. And there she is. She's in there. Now, if you wanted to stick a little filter on her, maybe not the duo tone one, because then it goes all sorts of crazy folk. Yeah, it's sort of maybe a multiply one just to give it a little bit more contrast. Uh, or maybe we should just move her over to the shirt there. And then she's a little bit easier to be seen. Okay. Uh, Grania, what have you got for us? Okay, I will get myself back up here. If you just keep that present on, then... Uh, okay. We oh, can and then always, yeah, we can always swap to it. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Look at that. I find... Um, so I was looking for cooking, cooking pots, things like that. So um, this little icon that I found here, um, I got that in shapes. Right. So uh, shapes are great because you can get lots of little icons like this. Yeah. And add them in, you can change their color. Um, one of the things um, that I would like to do now is add some maybe bubbles coming out of it. So oh, yeah. if I go to add, this time I'm going to go to design assets. And there's lots of cool things you can find in here. Yeah, they so are good on there. Scroll down, it gives you some nice ideas. So, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to just search for some bubbles because I want to have some like bubbles coming out of the, yeah, out of the pot. So, um, some of these look really good, and something like this will be good because it's, you know, it's like pointed at the bottom. Mm -hmm. and don't forget to tap add and it'll add it to your screen and i like that it's kind of got a transparency there in the background so yeah make this a little bit bigger and position it over oh, very cool the pot um i don't know if you want me to show at this point uh, because you can see my design is starting to get a little busy um and the order of things just aren't quite right yeah well, how to kind of off, yeah order so what i want to do is put kind of george that his foot is in behind the title, that it's not covering the title. So I've tapped on him there. I'm just going to go to order. And I love the way this makes it so easy. It's just like a little mm -hmm. slider. Mm -hmm. You just slide it up and down and go as far back as you want or mm -hmm. far forward. It just makes it so easy. Yeah. And it's visual. So I've got his foot now in behind. Um, I might change this little subtitle. Um, I'm going to come up so I'm going to tap on it and go to edit and I think come up with cooking will never be the same yeah. <laughs> so um, we can just make that a little bit smaller and position it so it's kind of going circling over his head almost looks like it's going to go down into the pot there so nice um yeah, I'm trying yeah, to think. Cool. 
Yeah, oh. let me uh, let me grab it back. Yeah. And then, um, so you know, Grania's using like an order function there, but if, if you're using, if you're on the desktop, you actually have your layers here, and you can drag them uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that things you know go on top or go beneath and that kind of thing. So that's quite a useful thing to do. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now is uh, one quick tip before I show you how to share things, and I'll pass it over to Grania to show how to share. Is uh, if you if you want to select so like I, what I did before, for example, if I go back, uh, there we go. If I go back, you see you got your back, your undo um, and your redo tools up there. I had my sticker up here, just like over his hand there, uh, but actually I didn't want it to be there. Um, now. What if I was just going to select the sticker and move it? I've got to select all three of them and then align them again. And it's kind of, oh, you see, look, I've messed that up already. So I didn't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to grab all three at the same time. So you will, what I'm going to do is click and hold off the screen and then drag that box over those things that I want to move. OK, now they all become grouped and I can move that. So that's just a it's slightly different um you know on the ipad and stuff like that and layers are slightly different but that's a that's a cool way of doing it okay when you're happy with your work give it a title the bfg book cover oh, i'll call mine the reason why you do that is because when you download it um it will give you that file name and also it will be that file name in your projects as well that's really useful uh because otherwise um you won't really know what you're looking for so give it a title which is appropriate, and then you can click download. I'll use I'll do a PNG because I'm not going to print it out. If I was going to print it out, I think I'd use a PN a PDF. Uh, but I'll start the download. You can see it's going to go down on my computer. There it is, bottom left hand side there. And then finally, I'm going to press share, publish. Now, if you're Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams, whatever you want to do, but I'm going to click link. And it's going to get my link ready. And all that means is you can share that with whoever you like. It's not searchable on Google or anything like that at all. And it will give you a link, which you can then, you know, put into your browser really easy. Look at that. If I just click copy there, stick it in, and there we go. Bob's your uncle. There we go. Okay. Uh, Granny, would you like to share how you download and share your work, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Okay, um, so I'm just going to show you how to rename it um, just while we're doing that. So if I hit the back button out here, you can see it takes you back out to all your kind of projects that you have. And if I tap on it again, um, up at the top here, just where it says George's, usually it'll say my project. So I'm going to, oh, it keeps going to the little dots. It's that. Um, it's down the bottom, isn't it? If you click it again and then uh, next, next to delete. yeah, And then you can put in your own name okay yeah and back in the project we can go to the share button which is up right up in the top right and i can choose to share the images and if i hit save image that's going to save it to my camera roll on the ipad and i like the way it tells you that it's done it because some apps don't tell you yeah, <laughs> and you're like on, has it not yeah. Um, then if we hit share again, um, we can go, do we do it as a shareable template? Is that how you do the, no, you can do that copied link, copy link one. So you scroll across to the right. There you go. Oh, the copy link. Yeah. And copy link. There you go. Okie dokie. Nice. So that's dead easy on yours, isn't it? It's like two taps and it's on your camera roll. Two taps yeah. and, it's, and you've got that link and you can share that with whoever. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's great. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is, there's a the, you can see on the scrolly, scrolly thing at the bottom, share your work, bit.ly forward slash share express. If you do want to share your work, do send it in to us. God, we've got loads of people doing it already. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, music on for a few minutes and then I'll start. Uh, I will start sharing some images so we can take a look so let me um get this back um don't forget to when you do want to share your work don't forget that you don't give us this one in your browser at the top here because nobody can see that only you can see that because your private link 
all right so make sure it's your sharing link so let's have a look at some of these they're coming in thick and fast here some people must have been on before you see and they already knew yeah, where to send their stuff nice. look at that oh nice i like that image good isn't it murder on the orient express yeah not right. everyone's playing happy families who's the agatha christie reader in primary school that is impressive <laughs> That's I a like teacher. It. it must be. It must be a teacher. Uh, otherwise, that is a sophisticated reader. Yeah. Hey, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Simple. Simple. Yeah, simple. Really good. I really like that. Just a few. We'll just do a few minutes so people can. Oh, nice. I, I didn't think we were going to get away today without a Harry Potter one. Yeah, I know. You never would, would you? That is good, though, isn't it? Bloomsbury. Very cool. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, I thought maybe the link had gone a bit funny there. I think maybe just try and share that one again because it's gone really long at the end. Probably not your fault, just like refresh or something. Uh, and then we'll be able to take a look. Right. Nice, the Dragon Prince. Yeah. Like that a lot. Got loads from St. David's here. Whoa! Well, someone's taken the image there and actually, uh, yeah, do a bit more work on that. That looks good. Brilliant. Okay, let's go to Skull Darwin. There we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah! Oh, they, I think they've used to take a picture. Maybe they have. That's good. Yeah. Well, no, actually, it's a stock image. You can see at the back there. Usually, with Adobe stock images because they're free and you don't have to pay for them. And then you will get a watermark on there, so that would be good. Have a try of that. Let's do another Derwin uh, one as well. Sneezy alien attack. <laughs> <laughs> cool. The iPad, I think you can, you know, quite easily have your photos already taken on the iPad and, you know, use some of those, use them your own. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, it is very easy with the iPad. That's a good one. Right, let's go for uh, Woodlawn search for Lacey oh hello yes. yeah. very mysterious that's a good one okay let's go down to Christ so um you see this link that someone from Christchurch has sent in it's too long because you've given us the one from your browser you see yeah. nobody else can see the one from your browser you have to do share and publish and get your link there you won't be able, we can't see that one there uh yeah so all those all three of those from Christchurch, we can't see any of those let's just start opening up from derwin are just derwin are doing so much look at that nice I like oh. the glasses. <laughs> lots of wee bits there lots of yeah design elements yeah for sure scarlet and ivy very nice oh i like the sticker they've done a good job on that sticker haven't they yeah all their colors are kind of coordinating there yeah have a girl. Blimey. I'm not sure I'm going to read that one, but you've done well. <laughs> right, there's another. That's the same one. Let's just do some randoms. How to train your dragon. Very cool. Yeah, yeah I like that. And they got the stars. They've done a different kind of vibe with the stars, which is cool. Uh, Bro Priscelli. Whoever's doing the ones from Bro Priscelli, you're doing the same thing. You're giving us these long links. We can't see those. It, you must, must, must press share, publish, and create a link. That's what you have to do. You can't give us the one in the browser. No one else can see that. Only you can. You have to press share and publish. That's the only way to get to see your work. So everyone from Escold, Bro Priscelli, you still need to do that. Okay, let's have a look here. That one doesn't exist. Room on the broom. Yeah, nice like use of icons. Yeah. That's nice. I like that book. I like that sticker actually. It's yeah. Coordinated as well. Bro Priscelli, you're still doing that thing where you're giving us it in the browser. Can't see any of them. The strange case of the talking houses. That's very cool. I want to read that book. <laughs> yeah. That looks good, doesn't it? Uh, there we go. There's a Bro Priscelli who actually got it right. There we go. Good stuff. Star Wars, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, well, I'm glad you met you. Glad you were able to share that with us. That's cool. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's stop that music. Let's uh, go back to. We've done our challenge one graphic design. Forty five minutes in. What we're going to do now is challenge two is video editing. Okay, so we're going to put together a book review video, mm -hmm. like the kinds that you would see on YouTube or TikTok or whatever it is that you use. Okay, so um, do you know what? That's not the example text there at all. Let me put a banner on, which to, which tells you example world book day. This is where you're going to get the text that you can use. You don't have to, but you can use in order to put your video book review together. Well, and sorry, I was just asking, how do we send our work on the spreadsheet? Uh, so that was on the ticker before. Uh, it was that one, bit.ly forward slash share express. Bit.ly forward slash share express. And it will just take you through to a form. Uh, you don't have to put any names on there. It just sends your link in and we can put that up on the screen. So bit.ly forward slash share express. Might want to write that down on a board somewhere so that you've got it. Okay, let's change the ticket. Now, this is World Book Day text. This is just example text. You don't have to use this um, this text at all. Um, Grania's probably done something completely different, which is great. Uh, but if you want to use it, this is something you can use in order to do your own book review. Okay, so let me just uh, zoom in a little bit on this. One, two, five. There we go. Right. When you do a book review, you want to keep it short, sharp, and simple. Okay, short, sharp, and simple. So I've got introduce the book and the author, uh, synopsis in no more than 50 words, favorite character, favorite part of the story, and your kind of final review on what you think of this book. Was it any good? Was it, you know, not so good? Would you recommend it to other people? What kind of ages might you recommend it to? Uh, all of those kind of things. Let me get a bit of space uh, in, my, uh, in my page. Right, there we go. And... Go back to my home screen. Okay. Um, now, in order to start this, if you're using laptop, desktop, Chromebook, that kind of thing, uh, you're going to press the plus, go down to video. Okay. Now, you can call this, you know, if you've got a particular title of a book, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I actually have. Mine's called Watership Down. Do you remember that book, Gronje? Yes, and I remember the movie, Bawled My Eyes Out. Oh, Yeah. You see, that's the thing about this book is that everyone's like, oh, it's about rabbits. It must be really nice. Oh, no. It's, yeah, it, it had a real, and the song as well. Do you remember yeah. the song? <laughs> it's quite, it, it is. A, it's an emotional one. And it's also quite gruesome, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, yeah. A lot of it's, you know, quite kind of uh, frightening, some of it, you know. Like yeah, kind of bits yeah. Of it. definitely. But it was a classic. It oh, was a classic great. in school when we were growing up. And, um, you know, you can choose a template, but actually, I don't ever use a template. Are you a fan of templates? Um, sometimes I think it helps, you know, uh, particularly when I'm in school and we've got a particular thing that we're doing. So yeah. nice, uh, you know, to if it's, it can fit into some of these, but if it doesn't, it's great that you have the option to start from scratch. Yeah, exactly. It is. It, it, can, it can be useful, but um, we don't need to use it today. So uh, if you want to use it, of course you can. Absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Now... It's dead easy to use this, okay? Really, really easy. Now you have your layouts down the right-hand side there. You can choose themes. I always think you should do a bit of content and then look at the themes and see how it changes before you actually choose because you don't really know what's going on until you've got some content in there. So uh, my book review uh, starts off, check out my book review of Watership Down by Richard Adams. Okay, now um, you can start off yours by maybe I'll choose a layout and uh, I'll do title and text and I'll do like uh, my book review um, and then maybe down here I can put water uh, watership oh, water shook watership down okay now uh, you could go and find a photo stick it in there uh, I'm, you know, it could search for rabbit this one's about rabbits and everyone's like oh what a fluffy story isn't that lovely and cute don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. Rabbits can be absolutely savage. Right. Uh, you know, so you could put in, you know, like an easy one like that. That's absolutely fine. But what, what you can also do if you wanted to is you could take a photo. If you had a book, you see, and it brings up your camera straight away. And I can say, hey, this is the book I'm going to review. It's clearly not. 
But um, let me just click there. You go three, two, one. There we go. You can confirm, and that goes in. So it doesn't really matter how you want to do it. But this is kind of like your your title screen. And then if you want to, you can move your text so it goes in a different place. If I want to get rid of some of that stuff, which is uh, you know in the background, I might just move myself you know, into a different place. So there's different ways of doing it. You can upload a photo, you can take a photo, you can connect it to Google Drive, whatever it is. Okay, now, the other thing that you do on your videos is, uh, where, let me just grab my, um, let me just grab my text here. So I've got it on something else, there we go. Is you've got your voiceover button. And here I'm gonna get this section here. Check out my book review of Warship Down by Richard Adams. Didn't really need uh, to really see that, but I'm going to press and hold here. I press, hold for a second, say what I need to say, wait for a second, then let go. Because you don't want to clip at the start or clip bits at the end. Okay. Hey, and welcome to my book review of Watership Down by Richard Adams. There we go. Now I can play this. Now, you can't hear this because it's playing on my other speakers, but I can hear my voice. And I can also hear that there's some music in the background. Now, you can go through all of these bits of music. And you see, when I, when I roll over just down to the left of the words, it changes into a play button. So you can, you know, have a listen. If they're, if they're the ones that you want, then click the text and it will give you a tick, which means, yeah, that's the one that you've got now. Now, actually, uh, I'm going to choose the horror movie one. <laughs> Because Warship Down is truly gruesome. So I'm going to put that in there because I think that's appropriate. Um, and then I'm going to kick it over to Gronio in a second. Um, but in order to add in another kind of scene is the way I think about it. Now, do you think about it as scenes? How do you think about these different sort of cards at the bottom? Um, yeah, I suppose scenes because, you know, in the end it's a video. Yeah. So or shots sometimes like we yeah, do like sort of thing yeah. what would there you go. so in order to put another shot in or another scene in just click the plus there and there we go okay so what i'm going to do is going to send it over to Gronya, and she is going to show us how to get started on an ipad mm -hmm. so what um, are we using we're using um a different app now aren't we yes this is adobe spark video so um you can see it there just yeah. called Spark Video. Um, but what I absolutely love about Adobe is that no matter where I go, all my projects are there. So if yeah. I'm on the desktop or I'm you know, in the app, as long as I'm logged in with my um, account, I can see everything that I've been working on before, no matter where I am, which is absolutely priceless. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a game changer, isn't it? It is. Um, so uh, I'm going to create a new project or a new video by hitting the big plus button down at the bottom okay and I'm just going to skip to editor you can start with your photos if you wish if you had some photos that you wanted to begin with but mm -hmm. I'm just going to skip to the editor um straight away and it takes me in here now what you might notice is Dom that I've also loaded in the Ama Brandon so it's mm -hmm. followed through as well in here so that's fine that's yeah. another feature that is um that I love as well so anything we make has that on it automatically. Okay, so um, I'm going to do my George's Marvelous Medicine. Um, so if I go to my layout um, up in the top there, so when I tap that, the little panel slides out. So exactly the same as the, um, the browser version. And I'm going to choose title and text. Okay. And again, I'm going to add some things in, and then we can have a look at the themes, what might suit George's Marvelous Medicine. So I've hit the plus in the top. This is my my title. Oh. I remember spending most of my primary seven trying to work out how to spell George's or remember how to spell George's. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> primary seven, I'm, I mean, I'm still going. I'm still there. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's go... Um, and we'll put in by Roald Dahl. Okay, so I've got my, my title in. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then what you'll notice up in the corner, we've got a little plus. So that allows me then to go add in my photos. Um, so I'm going to go to photo and you've got different options here. So you can go to your Google Drive. You can take a picture like um, you had Dom. So mm -hmm. let's take a picture. And remember to always hit OK so that it'll access the camera. Let's rotate. And I don't have George's Marvelous Medicine, even though my son That's okay. Just pretend. <laughs> oh, I'll just, it'll just be me. <laughs> so I'm going to use the photo and it pops it straight in. So there you go. Yeah. Um, move it around slightly. So again, sometimes you have to add the stuff in before you can uh, yeah. kind of see how, how it all fits together. Yeah. Okay, so that's my first title. And did you record a voiceover? I did, yeah. Yeah, so here um, you can see the big red button at the bottom. We've got our mic. And I'm just going to tap on it to record my voice. Again, don't forget to say okay. This is my book review about George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl. Perfect. Okay. And this is the worst bit. Oh, I'm glad you can't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. When you screen share that, I mean, it's the same with me here. Yeah. So when you're two screening it, it, it kicks that out. So okay. let me let me grab that back now. So uh, Grania's done her first bit. I've done my first bit. So now I'm going to do a synopsis, okay? So I'm going to get this bit. Now, there's quite a lot to say in this bit. There's a long voiceover. So here's a little cheat that I do. If I go to the layouts here and go to split screen, what I am I'm actually going to do here is uh, put all of my text in right now, okay? Now, uh, that means I can just read my voiceover off the screen. So here we go. When a young rabbit named Fiverr has a vision that the end of his warren is near, he persuades seven other rabbits to leave with him in search of a new home. Don't be fooled by the rabbits. This is a gruesome adventure story. Okay, so we've got my voiceover in there. And then maybe on the right-hand side, I'll go for a photo. And then, you know, let's go for rabbit. I think it's that easy one. Oh, let me... Uh, it sometimes needs a little bit of coaxing. Let me go for a horse. Well, oh, that's different. And then go back to rabbit. Sometimes it's just... Needs a bit of a kick. Okay, now, um, you can choose any sort of fluffy rabbit if you like. Uh, let's have a look. This one's pretty good, quite like that. Let's pretend that's Fiverr. Now, I want to really get across the idea that this is a gruesome adventure story. So rather than having text here, now that I've recorded my voiceover, I could get rid of that. Not bothered about it. And the good thing about a split screen is that you can have an image on one side and then also... You can, you know, you can have another photo on the other side. So maybe uh, something like fight. Let's see what we've got. Uh, there we go. And so you could have, you know, two pictures next to each other because, you know, basically in Worship Down, there's just loads of fighting. Yeah. All the time. It's actually crazy. But, um, and you see, you can use the little, uh, um, pencil button there to kind of get across this idea that they're fighting. I mean, that's not a great one. It wasn't really what I'm looking for, but uh, you know, you can, you know, work it out. There we go. That one's probably better. So yeah, just that idea that, you know, they can be fighting if you want. Now um, you can flip these around if you want, because you don't always have to have text on every single slide if you don't want it. Okay. Uh, and then let's show a different type of slide as well so maybe you know let's pretend i've recorded my voiceover i don't need to show you that again you can do that yourselves and then here i've got this one my favorite character is kiha maybe did i record my second voiceover there i can't even remember i think i did didn't i did yeah yeah and then on this one here uh so i'll let me put my text in but let me do it as a caption okay so here what i'm going to do is add in my text so I could record my voiceover, use that on screen. Uh, and then, you know, you don't have to have all the text in there. So I'll just take some of it out. Um, and then here in the background, I'll get a photo. So Kihar is a seagull. So you can put that in there. 
I quite like, let me see, this one's quite cool. And what it'll do is it'll make that text have like a, a background on the caption text, which is kind of nice. I mean, I actually think that any sort of um, caption text, you should keep it as minimal as possible. So I might even just go that and just have it on one line. There we go. Um, so that's how you could use a caption layout. But equally, what you can do on here as well, if I get rid of that, is you could put, well, let me go to, let me go to, and click off it, click on, go to icon. You could do something like, um, you know, you put seagull in here, for example. The icons are quite nice. I quite like using them, actually. So there we go. Put that one in here. And then, uh, you know, you could put your text on the right-hand side there. So you could use icons for it if you want. Now, um, one of the things that I quite like about this is that once you've got some content in there, that's when I would go in and start looking at themes because themes will change things like uh, the text, how it appears, the kind of colors that you're using. You see, that's very different mm -hmm. from where we were before. Very different. And then maybe, you know, change the color within that. Statements is a good one. I do like that. Uh, but if you want to, um, you know, check it out and see what it's like, press the play button at the start. You see, this play button here will only show you one slide. This play button here will show you everything from start to finish. And that's when you can have a look and say, yeah, I quite like that one. Or maybe that maybe that theme doesn't work. Maybe I'd rather go for the mega theme. And I think it should be like an earthy brown color because, you know, that's more appropriate to wash it down. And it's changed everything in terms of text mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, Gran, you would like to show us the next bit in yours? Yeah. Okay, so um, you can see down at the bottom, it's very similar. We're going to hit the plus button to create a new slide or shot or scene. Um, and I'm going to choose for this one, for my synopsis, the, the caption one. Um, and if we go in here, I'm going to add. So I'm going to talk about um, George's Marvelous Medicine. I'm going to go in and like um, Dom had done, I'm going to paste in all of my synopsis. Great tip. So it's about a young boy. George Cranky is forced to stay with his witch like grandmother while his parents are out shopping. And he must remember to give her medicine, but decides to create his own recipes and various household items. So I'm not going to keep all of that, but I'm going to look for... Um, an image to kind of go with this. So if I go into photo um, and let's go out here, see if I can search, uh, find free photos. And I'm going to go for a cooking pot. And yeah, this first one's pretty good. I like um, getting some images that are quite simple, especially if you're trying to combine it with text because it gives you some space on the image to, you know, have the text and it's not covering too much of the image. So this one's pretty good. Um, so I could take probably out of this, um, maybe probably from here down here. Okay. And... If I want to change the size of this, I can hit the minus to bring it down a little bit, maybe up a bit. And we'll go with that for now. And I'm going to record my voiceover. So George's Marvis Medicine is about a young boy, George Cranky, who is forced to stay with his witch-like grandmother while his parents are out shopping. He must remember to give her medicine and he decides to make his own with the ingredients he can find around the house. That's telling me to keep it short there. <laughs> I like that little tip. Um, so uh, I've just left it a little bit of that. So, you know, it's kind of a prompt uh, for the voiceover. OK, um, so I'm going to hit the plus button now and I'm going to do my favorite character. And if we go back to layout, I'll just show you what the split screen looks like here. Okay, and my favorite character, of course, is George. I'm not sure I could pick his grandmother, even though she is a lot of fun. But um, yeah. <laughs> so um, I have my text here on my pages. <clears throat> um, 
I'm just going to select it and copy it. And then we can go add it in. <clears throat> okay. So my favorite character is George. He's so fed up with his grandmother. He uses creativity and imagination to make a magical medicine. Okay. So let's see if we can find a photo of a boy. I think I found one earlier. Some of them are quite young. Um, but I did find one maybe. What did you use before? It was child, was it? Yeah, little child is a good one to use. Yeah. Um, God, they're all so young. I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, they're... maybe teenager, something like that. Okay, let's go for that one. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. And you can see with the split screen, so we've got it on either side. Um, if we look at themes now, um, here it's just similar. The buttons are along the top, so anytime you tap on them, the little panel mm. will appear, and you can yeah. make your choice. Um, I quite like the statement one as well for for this. Um, I think the book that I had in primary five was red, so it always reminds me of the color red. Mm -hmm. George's marvelous medicine, and you can yeah, see that it's looks really great. professional. Yeah, um, it's looking a lot better, I think. Yeah. Uh, so I always associate the color red with it. Cool. And just to show the music as well here. Yeah. Um, when you tap on it on the top, you can see you've got lots of. Um, so I think it might be something like playful. I think. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah, if you're and whenever happy, you've got it, done. Yeah. Great okay. stuff. Okay, now let me. Um, I'm going to show how to share, but just before I do that. And then I'll pass it over to Grania. She'll show it to share on an iPad. Uh, one thing that you can do, which I thought is pretty cool, let me just delete this. So you can delete any of these slides just by clicking them and then delete. And then you can also uh, move them around if you want to, just change up the order. Just It's the same on the iPad, just, um, just touch it and then start moving it. Um, but if I put in a new slide, let me go. So this one is about my favorite character is Kihar. Uh, and it was based on a fighter from World War II. Uh, but another option I can do is if I don't want to put the text on, though, if I want to make something a little bit different, go choose full screen as your layout. Put a photo on in the background. I just went for World War II, and I got this kind of um, – and I got this soldier in there, and I thought, great, well, like, let's pretend he's the Norwegian soldier who um, Kihar was based on, the seagull in, the, in this book. And uh, and then I can do things like like zoom right in, okay. Put them over to that kind of side. Even just make it maybe even more. So go over to the left hand side, and then I can put an icon in here uh, on top of a photo. And then I could go for something like uh, you know like uh, a seagull like this one for example. So then you've got the icon and you've got the image on there as well, which I quite like because you can't do that in some of the other layouts. So that's worth thinking about if you have a full screen layout and you have the image and then you can put an icon over the top. Right. You can you can get on with playing around with that. But just let me show you again. If you want to download your if you want to download your video, press download and it'll do all of that for you. Might take a while. I'm going to X out of that because we don't need to sit around watching that. Uh, so I'm going to say yes, stop. Uh, but if you want to download it, you can. Otherwise, press share, publish. Now, this is something that's different between the iPad and the uh, desktop version, is that when I press create a link here, uh, it will give me an almost ready link. So it's given me the URL where my video will live, but it's not quite there yet. It's there preparing it for me, okay? And then in maybe like a minute or two, once this blue line's got all the way to the end, that will kick in and you'll be able to use that link to be able to show. Uh, Grania, would you like to share yours quickly? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see I've added an icon onto my final one there. So you've also got the option of adding icons here as well. So up in the very top right, we've got the share button. And saving to camera roll then is, is basically like downloading. So you're saving the video to your camera roll where you can take it off or share it. Wherever nice, you that like was quick. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have the other option then of copying your link to 
a clipboard. It's actually easier, isn't it? I think in the iPad. Yeah. Um, so you can title the story here if you want to put in your book review. Um, and it's got my name already in there. Okay. And copy link. So it is yeah, that one's great as well. Or maybe I just have less stuff on mine. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It does make a difference, that, doesn't it? Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes it can be a bit longer, but that's how you do it. Yeah. Uh, let me um, let me grab that back. Mm -hmm. And you see, so mine is ready now. You can play that, and it's going to work. Um, so what I'll do is we'll give you about five minutes just to carry on with your work. If you want, if you need longer, just pause us. That's absolutely fine. And in those five minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to showcase some examples from challenge one on the screen. OK. OK, so we had a few here, which were nice. I thought this one was good. I liked it. What I thought was they could this uh, this um, man with the top hat here. You can click that image and then press remove background and that would look even better yeah. I like the way they've done that building's in a very interesting position isn't it like that the way they, they've done that looks like he's walking towards it yeah yeah it's good so use that remove background tool select the image press it so that was good as well oh yes because she loves reading yeah it's nice and simple yeah and it's used um and it's used you know creative images because obviously if you search for matilda it's a copyrighted image, so yeah. you can't really use it. It's kind of okay in it for educational use. You'll get away with it, but you certainly couldn't share it as your own material. But this yeah. one's really good because you've got that blackboard, you've got the books. I really like that. This one, I thought was this was superb, actually. Wow, yeah, yeah. I really did think this one was superb. I thought they did, a, thought they did really well. I thought it was just a good, good, good choices. Yeah, nice layout. Mm. Now this one I think is good as well. You know, like the sticker is great. But obviously this uh, image in the background, you couldn't pass. You know, it's fine for school use. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but you know, have a go at creating that image. You know, putting the text in yourself and stuff like that. That would be quite cool. Uh, same. There we go. What I did like is the sticker, and I actually thought that looked a lot okay. better than my sticker. <laughs> Don't you think that looks way yeah. more real? It definitely, you know, catches your eye. Yeah, so they did well there. That I thought this one was superb, actually. Yeah, the, it's a, the font is really suits the the genre, doesn't it? The style. Yeah. Of it. It's kind of bleak, isn't it? It's it's nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then we had this one, great. Yes. Looks like it was really good. I thought that was quite innovative what they'd done down yeah. here. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very different from what. Yeah, we, it is. It's a good image, isn't it? I think that's a really good creative use of image, you know, like rather than just saying, oh, we're going to find a chocolate factory or we're going to find Mr. Wonka or whatever. You know, they're yeah. going to, well, let's just find a really interesting image. And then that one was cool as well. I thought that was good. <laughs> good. They've done, they, they, they done that nicely. Um, this was good as well. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that an image from The Hobbit? Do you know that? Uh, I'm not sure. I yeah. don't know. No, there's the, the dragons. Yeah. Just think about with your your titles and your font. Um, just thinking about the color. You know, making sure that um sometimes it's easier to read. So maybe um red is sometimes is a funny color, isn't it for text? Sometimes when it's uh, it can, can be yeah. Fizz. It can be. Well, maybe you could put like a little outline on it. If you go to the text, yeah. select it, and then select outline. You could put like a, a white light like white outline yeah. on it which would have been cool um and this one i thought was good mm -hmm. yeah well they've got the wonka bars in yeah but they've actually built that up themselves yeah so i, I was actually i was quite impressed by that yeah i thought that was really nice okay got more, whoa loads of stuff again anyone who's sending us in these in these links where they've got uh i mean actually this person is just pasting in the same link time and time again it's actually not uh, a long link actually let's have a look and see what we got there we go see that's a good use oh uh, you know obviously didn't use a copyrighted image and uh, has made a good job of that i think yeah a nice icon like in the back yeah exactly it's a bit different isn't it i quite like that 
Uh, this is from Wood Memorial Gangster Granny. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, this is this is nice. I like the way they've done that yeah. bit at the top. Yeah, I think that is cool, and the way they've zoomed in on that photo, I think that really really mm -hmm. worked well. Yeah. It, you know, you would definitely stop in a bookshop and, you know, take on a second look at that one. Exactly. Again, here, you know, they've used a very interesting image, which I kind of like. Yeah, nice. Uh, what else have we got here? Dr. Seuss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See if you can remove the background on both those images, both the cat and the hat itself. Yeah. That, that would be cool. Be uh let's see what else we've got all the rings yeah i mean it's classic isn't it yeah. sometimes the most simple images are, are the best i think they really allow the the text to stand out you yeah know, giving you the space to allow yeah. it to stand out. i might match those two texts i think maybe i would do that and maybe drag that one out so it was further across the top but i did like that one a lot but it was great uh here we go there's a matilda one that's good oh brilliant yeah yeah the, the font is nice isn't it matilda. yeah and it, you know again it's that simplicity isn't it which i think has really worked and then we've got lots of videos that are starting to come in as well that's a, oh that's a good one brilliant i, I like mm -hmm. the color combination Black yeah it is good isn't it <laughs> uh and then let's have a look at this one dog man and cat kid <laughs> <laughs> Got all sorts of stuff going on in there. Good stuff. Right, we have got loads of videos coming in. Now, we won't necessarily show these videos. I mean, we can open a couple up, but um, they're a bit harder to share. A face called Perfect. Very nice. That's cool by Rosie Ramos. Good stuff, Rosie Ramos. Right, we've got about 13 minutes left. So what we're going to do here is, if you need more time to do your posts, like your book covers or your book video reviews, then just pause us or mute us that's absolutely fine no problem you can mute me whenever you like and um what we're going to do is we're just going to show you very quickly how you could create like an adobe express page portfolio of your book cover and your video book review as well okay so if you if you if, if you want to concentrate on those first two challenges that's fine you can just pause us, mute us, get rid of us, whatever you want to do. But for those who are still, um, who are keen for a third challenge, um, we're going to show you how to put those into a quick page. Okay, so uh, let me go back here. Right, now, um, if you want to put these, let me just close that music down. There we go. If you want to put together like a World Book Day portfolio page, like website, for example, personal website, and you just go to plus and go down to web page. Now, this is honestly so simple. So, um, and let's put world, oh, let me give you some space, world book day. And then I'll put my name in because it's my stuff. And then, you know, you can do a short cover, you can do a split layout. I actually think the photo background is the best one here. Uh, that's just personal preference, but you just go for whatever you want. Now, if I put books in, uh that these are all quite cool um what, what did i used to search for i used to put something like magic book and then yeah you see these are a bit better now and so you get a bit creative what you know the title that you might put into your image search okay so now i'm going to say it says down here scroll to start writing your story okay so i'm going to scroll and i think the first thing i'm going to do is put some text in right here are the two challenges I did for World Book Day. I'll sort that in a bit uh, using Adobe Express. Right. Uh, now, um, that's obviously gone in and it's really small. Okay. So what I'm going to do is select it and go for header one. Okay. And that makes it a bit bigger. Okay. Here are the two challenges I did for World Book Day using Adobe Express. Now, when I scroll down here, I get another plus on the bottom here. So I can just click that one. And then I'm going to use two split layouts, I think. I think I'm going to use two split layouts. So I'm going to click that there. Now, what was my challenge number one? Well, my challenge one 
was graphic design, design a beautiful book cover. So I'm just going to, just for sake of time, I'll grab that. And then I can paste that in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to format all my section headers using that quote function there, the third one. And then here I might change this into header two. Just makes it a bit chunkier, which I think is good. Now you've got two options here. Uh, on the left-hand side, I could actually uh, upload my book cover. That would be fine. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to say about that is it won't allow you to place all of it in because it will crop off some at the top or some at the bottom because it's not the same size. It's not the you know it's not the same sort of format. Yeah, it's not the same sort of format. So the the we did a we did an A5 book. We don't want to replace it. Um, and this isn't, you know, isn't that isn't an A5 size, but you can change the focal point. So you maybe you want the title at the top to definitely appear. You see, and I, I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, that works for me. But you can also stick it in here as well underneath, and it'll go in in like a small size. And again, upload. This is um, you can't see it now, but it's oh, you can, brilliant. Uh, and then I can select my book cover, and then stick it in. On. That's all you did. Uh, Granny, would you like to show them how to do that on Spark page? Yeah. Can you show them from the start of the app? Is that okay? Yeah. Let's go out there. Yeah, okay. so we're using Spark page, just this little icon. There's quite similar to Spark video. Um, and even when you go in, it looks quite similar to Spark video as well. Mm -hmm. So you can see I've got all my web pages here. So we just go down to the plus here. And it's very, very similar. So if we add in our title, you're, I'm just tapping there. World Book Day and a subtitle. I've got my name in there. And if I hit oh, nice. the bottom, yeah. we can choose photo. And gives you all the options here. So you can look on your iPad if you wanted. Um, let me go. I'm going to try reading to see what happens. Oh, nice. Okay. And um, yeah, I quite like that image there. Yeah, that's a good one. So um, again, you have to think about, you know, keeping it simple so your title doesn't get lost on it as well. And you can see at the bottom, it says scroll to start writing your story. So as you scroll, it prompts you with um, options. So if we add our text in. So I'm just going to quickly put in world book the challenges okay and if we tap on it then tap on it up along the top you can see where you can make your changes so if you wanted header one just to make it a little bit bigger or smaller and you have a couple of other options um if I, every time you scroll it'll give you another little plus so choosing our split layout, um, again, we can put in challenge one. Uh, let's do that as header two, or you can do your quotes. Um, I'm just kind of skipping some of the text. I just That's want to show you, yeah. if you go to add image, where we can get our, where I can find my book cover so if i go to on my ipad it's taking me into the camera roll there and i can see my my book in there and yeah it's not come up not too bad um, yeah, if I want yeah. it, you know, I can change the focal point if i want it slightly down it's kind of cutting off the title a little so yeah yeah i can That's that good. um but you can also add it here like dom has done um, it's so very similar see. isn't it the ipad and the desktop for page yeah, yeah. All right, let me um let me get it um back here and then so I've I've actually decided I didn't want the my image to appear on the left and on the right. So I changed this and I just put designer in there and got like a cool image there, which I quite like. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is for challenge two, I mean this is the only thing that I can really uh, teach you here because you guys will be able to uh do a much better job than me uh, i'm gonna go to split layouts again this time it's reversed it's flipped it's the image on the right hand side i'll add in my text here i can change the formatting create a video book review header two nice and then 
this is where, like, say, for example, I've got Rosie Ramos's um, link on here. Now, if I, if, if I just pretend this is mine, if I copy that link there, then I can go to the plus button underneath there and actually just paste the URL to my express video in there. And boom, it embeds itself ready to go. And on the right hand side, maybe I'll go to like a videographer. There we go. Videographer, what am I getting here? I like that. Nice. I mean, that is looking pretty cool. And then that's it. That's it. And then if you want to change your theme up, that'll change things, how things are presented, things like fonts, things like colors, things like layout. So have a look. Once you've got some text in there, have a little look through. I quite like the Baldwin theme, actually. That's usually one of my go-to themes. And then it will just change how things look. Wesley's pretty good. Trek's pretty good as well. Um, and when you're happy with that, I'm going to come out of themes. And then let's just have a quick check. I can just press present at the top. There's my first bit. Here are my two challenges. Graphic design. There's my cover. Now, you can, if you actually click on that, it'll bring it up in a kind of gallery preview mode, which is really nice. I do like it. Uh, you know, if my computer was fast enough, there it is. And then you can click out of that. And then there's your video as well. And if you click that video, it will open up full screen. You didn't have to leave the page. Um, so I'm going to come out of that, press share, publish and share link, create a link. Um, Gron, you would like to show that? Yeah. So I've added mine in here, but just to show you that again, um, if I hit the plus button down here, um, we choose video. So it's asking me for my link. So when I shared it earlier on, it had copied the link to my clipboard. So it's sitting there ready to paste in the ether. So when I tap on that and hit paste, you can nice. see my um, my link there for my video and when it hit done, it appears. Yeah. Very okay. cool. Um, and to share from here, if we go tap on the share button. That's in the top right, isn't it? Yeah, top right. And create public link. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. We've got all sorts of stuff coming in still here. I mean, we've had hundreds today, hundreds of pieces of work, which I just think is brilliant. Hey, check this one out, by the way. That's nice as well. That's a completely different style. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love the color combination yeah, there. It's really good, and the icon's great, isn't it? It's lovely to see something completely different from, like, the original sort of books yeah. that, you know, that you'll be used to. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, that that is basically, that's it. If you if you um, if you're happy with um, putting together your page, do go ahead and do that. You need two out of three in order to get your swag. So how do you get your swag? Well, what you do is you pester your teacher mercilessly, relentlessly, uh, and you ask them, "Did you get the email from Dom?" Because Dom said he was going to email you about swag, and uh, they will get an email from me, and they can say, "Well, you know, if you've completed two out of three of your challenges and you can prove it to your teacher, you get some swag." But if you completed at least two out of three of your challenges and you're also going to teach it to some other classes, students, pupils, whoever it is, then you can get VIP swag. And that's where we want to be. Gronya, do you want VIP swag? I do. I'm really intrigued now. <laughs> I'll send it to you. That's fine. In I've fact, done I even hand deliver it. Challenges. <laughs> <laughs> you did do two out of three challenges. All you need to do is send me your, send me your name and address and that's fine. <laughs> So it'll all get delivered to your school. It's all completely free. And if you go and teach other people, uh, other teachers, other students, other pupils, you get VIP swag. Brill, um, Bronya, thank you so much. And well done you for battling through because um, <laughs> sometimes it can be a right pain, can't it? Yeah, and I hope everybody enjoys your World Book Day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. World Book Day. It's always, a, it's always a highlight of the year for sure. Any yes. parting thoughts, Gronya? Have you got any wise words for us all to think about, you know, as we uh, as we finish our school day? If you have any problems with tech, remember to just turn it off and on. <laughs> that's, that's probably the best advice of 2023 you're ever likely to get. There you go. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, you've been great.